Hey there again, folks. We are back for day three on the story Elephants Walk for Water and continuing, of course, with oops, our comprehension skill of cause and effect. Cause is why an event happened and the effect is what was the event that actually happened. I also want to review when you are reading, remember that there are signal words that will give you clues as to if you are reading about a cause or an effect. Signal words for cause are if and because, and signal words for effects are so and then. Your job today is to work on reproducible worksheet number four. And it looks like this. So yesterday, when you were working on your worksheet, you had to find just the effects of certain events. Today, you need to find effects and causes. So they will give you either the cause or an effect, and you need to look at the correct pages to find the other one. Now remember, for this chain reaction here, that means that an effective event can also then cause another event. So when you get to that part, whatever you think the effect of that cause was, you write the same thing down here that is now a cause for that event. And then the vocabulary that we have for you today is antonyms. Remember, an antonym is a word that means the opposite. So what you are going to do, for example, find the word small, okay? And then it says pages six to seven. You need to find the antonym for the word small, a word that means the opposite of small. Now, there are lots of antonyms of small, but your job is to hunt for and find the one that is on pages six or seven for that. So you need to make sure that what you're writing is on those pages. Good luck. Work as a team. Get started.